Dan has always wanted to be a dad and that dream was finally coming true. Then his girlfriend left him and gave a heartbreaking ultimatum. He's about to make a mercy dash to the US to get his baby before it's too late. Dan Gord desperately wants to be a father. I was ready when I was 21. I knew that it was just in my future and it was just waiting for the, everything to align. On a holiday to the US, he met who he thought would be the love of his life. It was super spontaneous and then just bumped into her there and it was kind of like the um, two parts collide. A whirlwind romance followed. We only had a short amount of time together, a couple of days. So we were going out to you know, restaurants and stuff and I just couldn't shut up about it, basically. Within days, his new love, Liv, moved from Texas to be with Dan. She was just saying, there's nothing in Texas for me anymore. Like, I've, I've closed the door on it. All my heart and energy is in Australia. Yeah, where we live, there's no roads, so... A builder, access. Dan works at Barara Waters, just beyond Sydney's northern outskirts, where the only mode of transport is boat. And away we go. It's not the SS Minnow, is it? <laughs> he spends his days working on houses along the river. So that's what you're building at the moment? Yeah, we had to replace all the old joists that were just rotten, yeah. uh, just from water damage. Things were falling into place. Dan and Liv were inseparable. She was helping out on the job site. It was lovely. It, was, it just felt so right, and I was just so happy. Then came the news. Liv was pregnant. Telling mum, dad, and brother, and everybody at the same time, and just watching their jaws drop, and it was... Yeah, it was, it was joyous and beautiful. In those blissful weeks, Dan and Liv began planning their life together. But cracks started to appear. Liv was homesick. She felt like she needed her community again. She felt like she needed her support network. Then she delivered a hammer blow. Where were you the moment she told you that she wasn't coming back to Australia? I was actually leaving the job site as she's telling me the news and that she, uh, yeah, got back with her ex-partner. And I was just, I just, I just couldn't believe it. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, you're pregnant with my daughter. It was followed by another hammer blow. She was starting to send me, um, adoption options for people that she knew in uh, Texas. And I was like, no, this is, stop. Don't promise her to anyone. This is, it feels so wrong. This is against all my morals. Dan began his quest to raise the baby on his own. I will do whatever it takes so I can be the father and I can bring her up in a loving environment here in Australia and provide for her. You know the baby is going to be a little girl. You've named it Anna. Already, why? Anna, it was um, actually from Ananta, which is the Sanskrit word for forever or eternity, and abbreviated is Anna, and Anna it just sounds nice. Yeah, I'm into Liv's agreed to his plan. Now for the complicated part. Dan has to make a mercy dash to the US for Anna's birth, then complete the paperwork and pay for it. We plan to drive from Austin to Houston, which is where the Australian Embassy is, book an interview, have the paperwork ready, and send that off to Australia to, to get processed. This is all gonna take a lot of money. Do you have it? Do you have the money? No, but there's been some incredible people donate. People that I haven't even spoke to since leaving school. One thing Dan won't lack is help with the baby. His workmates are on board, like Riley Hart and Declan McLennan. We'll all pitch in and help him out. I know there's a bunch of other people on the river. It's a pretty close community who have said they're going to help him out. Is that what it's like around here? Like, you know, people live here, they work here, everyone looks, scratch each other back? Yes, whenever someone needs help, you know, just give a yell and someone will usually come running. To cope, Dan has reverted to meditation. It's something I've been doing religiously for the last five years, maybe more, uh, every day. Dan's thought about the finish line, 
Once he's found the money and beaten the bureaucracy and baby Anna is in his arms. I went to Coles the other day and I saw a lady with a pram and she was just talking to her baby saying, um, are you real, are you real? Like she couldn't believe that her baby was real and um, I, I think it would be something similar to that. I'm hoping and praying and everyone's praying that it will be, um, yeah, a happy ending. And we're all hoping he can get over there and bring little Anna home as soon as possible, Dan.